I'm listening. You just started. Hello? Go ahead, I'm listening. A man picked me up and made me what I am today. He saw me to seven years ago and he was asking. So I was with him in his apartment. But during that period, uh, the wife took advantage of me and uh, we are having uh, a holy relationship. I know, are you doing what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yes, and um, before I came into this man's life, he has no children. So the man played a vital role in my life. That even when I wanted to, I want to travel abroad, he took me to his village, sold a parcel of land and introduced it to call for me. He told me that he has no brother or sister, that I'm going to be his brother. And that was the level we had the relationship. But this, the wife was having another thing in mind. We wow. developed that relationship together. So after some time, she had kids for her about two. What? Sorry, and bring it back. She had kids for him? She told me now, she recently told me that those kids me. Okay. How many so, kids are we talking about here? Three, three. Okay. I see, I am married with two, two children. So, um, so then I will be myself. I think the thing is really eating me up. Then I told her, uh, I said, we have to sit down. That like, I want to confess to this man. That this man has played with this, what my parents, biological parents, cannot do. What did he do I for you? What's with this worship, now? What did he do for you that you feel like you would have been destitute or probably dead, but he came and saved you? What did he do? Hello? What did he do for you that you're going on about? A movie man. Yeah. I told, I said before that he sponsored my education. From a, se- a secondary school to university. Mm-hmm. And sent me abroad. Oh, he sent you overseas, uh huh, uh huh. Yes. And you slept with his yes. wife? Yes. I could say the wife was sleeping with me. No, don't say that. No, no you're not going. How old were you when, she, when you first had sex with her? When we started it, I was 11 years old. You were what? 11 years old when I went to the man's house. Were you living with the man? Yes, I was living with the man. So she started molesting you at 11 years old? Yes. And when did she have her first child? God, what's this? Um, that was later about, um, I don't know, I was in secondary school. I finished secondary school. Then she had her first child? Yes. How old were you then? She was around 17 or 18, yes. Okay, and then the second child was when? How old were you when she had a second child? She had the second child and the third child. So the, the, the problem is that the, the wife has said that those children come from me. So, so and now you want to sit down to discuss with who now? The wife or the man who has saved yes, you? I, I told the wife that I want to confess to the whole time. The wife, the woman, the kids. I think it's a good way to die, to be honest. I I really think there are many ways to die, and that would be one good way to die. But if it helps your conscience, well, yeah, for sure. I mean, what's the use of life if you're living a lie? So you want to sit down, tell the man, I slept with your wife, I have the three kids are mine. Uh huh. Uh, (laughs) What do you suggest? You think I should have it and die with it or what? So, to be honest with you, I'm not even thinking at this point. I'm still trying to make sense of your story. I'm trying to make sense of the fact that you lived with the man. 
he took care of you. His wife was molesting you from 11. And by 1718, she had her first child. And now she's telling you all three kids are yours. Has she told you what she wants you to do about that information? No, she's just telling me that my information. To be honest, I've I've thought about death, but I haven't thought about ways to die. So honestly, I have nothing to say to you. I think Lagos has something to say. So we're going to ask Lagos to tell you what they think you can do about what you just said. Oh. Yeah. How old are the kids, by the way? How old are they now? Sixteen, eighteen, and twenty. Something, yeah. And she's telling you now that the kids are yours. Yes. That's what I'm worried. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Lagos is going to tell you what they think about it because I'm not thinking. That is it. Making a decision. Making a decision on the best way to die. Look, something happened, and it happened to a soldier, a soldier man. An, an army man in this country. He went to Liberia and came back, and somebody came to confess to him that that he, when he was back, he said he repented, that he repented that he went to, went to make a confession, that when he traveled, that he, he, he used to come to sleep with his wife. You understand? So, at the end of the day, the, the, the army man went, went inside the room, came back, said, he said what? He confessed again shot him to bed. He died and died like that. You understand? So, that is the best way this man wants to be to die. No, may- maybe Let him not even try. Relax. Maybe he's not going to die. I, I, that was just <laughs> me thinking out loud. May, probably he may not die, but he may not be locked. He had done it. He should remove your eyes from there. No, no. He doesn't have his own wife. He doesn't have his own, his own children. I just to put your eyes there. He should remove your eyes. He should remove his mind there. And face, uh, and face his life. Why are you people coming and bringing old mm-hmm. things? You are, you are not know you people are just play with your life. Let's face your, your your wife. I believe the man is married. You have his own children. Face your life. Face, face your own family. I just want to have you put a twist to it. One what minute. if one, the baby is not yours? And you went and confessed. And you just died for nothing. That's one. <laughs> Number two, what if the husband is away? Because he cannot uh, father children. That is why... He just turned a blind eye, and um, do you know this good is for you? Because he wants um, the father of his children to actually also be a successful human being later in life. So these are two areas you have to look at it. So for me, my brother, there are some secrets you just die with. Die with this one. That's my advice. The man is very wicked. He's very, very wicked. From 11 years old to date... And he still want to go confess. He want to kill himself. If he were in that shoe, what can he do? That's the first question he need to ask himself before he start talking all that kind of word. So I, I'm just wondering why nobody is listening to the fact that this guy was molested at 11 years old. Yeah, he was a minor for crying out loud. Mm-hmm. And you know when you don't have anybody in this life and you are relying on somebody, people take advantage of you when you are little or you don't have anybody. Mm-hmm. So I um, support that he confesses to the man and lay down the facts. You can, he cannot exonerate himself from this. Even though he was a minor, at a point in time, he grew up to understand some of the things that he had done were wrong. But let's still blame the woman. She's the one that is the evil person here. Not even I'm blaming the man, but that woman is evil. How can you molest a child? A child. Please, let him go and confess and clear his mind. If he dies, he dies. Oh, this guy died, now better die, sir. If for me, you are ready to go and confess to the man. If I do a DNA test first, let them check. If these three children are really his children, before you go ahead to go and do that confession to the man. Let him check if the children are his own. Confess, Joyce. I will say the truth. If he die in this court, let him die for it.